over the last few days scenes of a cow being mowed down by a police car in Greater West London have gone viral. The officer in Staines-upon-Thames was removed from duty, but yesterday a farmers' union said the decision was probably the right move given the incident took place in a built-up area. Well, activists, Animal Rising, say around 16,000 people have now signed their petition in less than two days, calling for Bo, the calf who escaped, to be rehomed in a sanctuary. Well, Nathan McGovern uh, from Animal Rising joined me earlier. On Saturday, we viewed, as I'm sure the nation did, with absolute horror, as the videos of Bo being run over not once but twice by police in stains emerged online. And from the moment we saw that, we knew that we had to do something. This no 10-month-old calf, you know, she is literally just a baby. So instantly we launched a petition uh, to show the level of public support to get her to a sanctuary, which is now over 21,000 signatures on. We've been uh, working, collaborating with the RSPCA to find out what the best way uh, to make sure she gets to a sanctuary is. And we're actually working now with a sanctuary called The Retreat in Kent, who they have acres of space. They've got a herd of 18 cows just waiting to welcome Bo in. And all that needs to be done now is for the farmers, for Rob and Kate, to kind of just step up and do what the British public is asking for them to do. Just before we get onto that, in terms of the incident itself, um, I've seen the video, of course, like everyone. Um, I can't say I was as horrified as you when I saw it, uh, particularly when I was watching a, a quite a frantic, erratic, scared, stressed cow running about the streets in Staines. Um, though it is full of stress, that's a dangerous situation for the public. Any free leg, any flailing arm uh, hits a small child, a small toddler, that could kill a toddler. And if the police didn't act fast enough, uh, we could see something much worse on our hands, dare I say much worse than a cow being run over by the police to sort of neutralise it. So in terms of the issue itself, do you think this is, you're potentially making a bit of a mountain out of a molehill on this one when, you know, you guys yourself on your website say you're about, the, you know, saving the ecosystem and you do your activism based on climate change. It's a cow that it's fine. So what I'd say, first of all, is Bo was, you know, obviously scared. She was nervous on, on the streets, but, but no one was in danger. And I think, you know, if you visit any sanctuaries anywhere that has cows there, you see that they're such docile, gentle animals, and they just needed to be treated with kindness and have people who know how to handle animals to approach them. You know, there were other options that could have been taken at the scene. There has been you know, widespread condemnation. The Surrey Police have referred themselves to not one but two investigatory bodies for the way that they dealt with this incident. It's been condemned by, you know, the Home Secretary, Chris Packham, the way in which it's been dealt with. And, and on that second point about, you know, the, the kind of, you know, this is just one cow, we're making a mountain out of a, a molehill here. I think what we can see in Bo is that Britain really is a nation of animal lovers. And the way that we've reacted to this shows who we are as a country and who we want to be as a country. And, you know, let, let's be honest, you know, Bo is, as you say, one animal, but she is representative of every single animal in farms across the UK that we don't see. We don't see videos of them being hit by the police on the streets that are ending up in slaughterhouses every single day. And I think this is a time perhaps for us as a country to pause and reflect that if we're so upset and horrified and outraged at what's happened to Bo, then we can make sure that this doesn't have to happen to any animal in farms across the UK. Yeah. Well, when it comes to that, don't you think that's quite a sad indication of who we are as a people, that we're so willing to sign a petition about a cow that's actually fine and being cared for by a vet and back at its farm that it was, than we are about things that affect real people, that affect Londoners. We don't sign similar petitions about food banks. We don't sign similar petitions about ongoing crises we face in this country with, with children dying in various ways due to the poverty level in this country. We're not so fussed about that, but a poor little cow, oh, suddenly we get on, our, on the internet and we start hammering away. That's, a, that's pretty sad to me, don't you think? Well, I've, I've got to disagree there. I, I don't think uh, that people don't care about, about food banks, don't care about child poverty. I myself, I've volunteered at food banks before. And what this is really showing, our reaction to this, is that we are empathetic, we are compassionate, sympathetic people, you know, whether that is this situation, whether that is child poverty, that we all have something in us that stands up and says, like, no, this isn't OK in situations where there's harm, there is suffering, regardless of whether it is to non-humans or to humans. Mm. Um, just on uh, Bo uh, herself, uh, she has returned to the farm, just getting back to that point, and she's being taken care of by a vet, and obviously 
this is a farmer's one at one of uh, their lively st uh, livestock um, that's all fine now surely I mean uh, it's nice that you've you've made such an effort for Bo to get her to a sanctuary but surely now it's it's part of his livelihood um, so it's it's all sort of settled and, and there's no need for you to to go above and beyond to find a sanctuary for Bo well that's almost the real tragedy of this situation James you know how long you know the the average heifer lives you know on a farm before they get sent to a slaughterhouse? Uh, no, no, it's two, two, two to five years, and the natural lifespan of a cow is twenty years. So we're really at a crossroads right now. Is it going to be the slaughterhouse for Bo having her life tragically cut short way before her time, or is she going to be able to go to a sanctuary with acres of green land, a family of eighteen other cows to live out? A natural life which is four times that which you would otherwise experience but this is uh, an animal that's part of an agriculture industry uh, for food and milk and things like that so this is not a concern for the farmer that it, that, that it reaches its maximum life expectancy and you understand that that most people see it that way i don't think most people see it that way i think the fact that we are so outraged that the nation is talking about this story really shows who we are shows that we do want what's best for animals. Do you guys at Animal Rising put the same weight on a human life that you do on an, on an individual animal's life out of interest? They, oh, that's a, quite a difficult question. I think it's maybe one that you don't know the answer to until you are in the, the situation. I know the you know, to imagine it. A, uh, a burning building that's a you know, human or your cat. I think there's a few people that will probably go and save their cat rather than their nosy neighbour, uh, perhaps. Uh, but no, That'd be a psychopath, say, right? That would be perhaps, a psychopath. I'd say that all life is valuable and we're not in a situation where we're choosing between humans and animals. What we can do is choose both. We can create a world in which animals are living happy and safe lives and humans are living fulfilled, happy and safe lives as well. It's not a case of one or the other.